So this video is going to be about resisted crawling. So um, if you were a young kid, they would have said, hey, crawling is not necessary to make sure that you do before you walk, which is true. But what we found is when you look at some of these higher level athletes, all of them were really good crawlers and they crawled for a long period of time because they got to use their core efficiently. So what has to happen is that we need to use our abs with our hip flexors together to make sure that our lower core is functioning correctly. So resisted crawling is gonna be a great exercise to facilitate that. So if you've ever had any back pain, a lot of the back pain is because the hip flexors are working more than the abs. So we're gonna show you how to correct that. So first of all, you're gonna be in hands and knees, okay? You wanna make sure that your shoulder blades are down and back, your eyes are looking straight towards the mat, you're keeping a neutral spine. You've got a band around your ankle that's tied to the door, doorway, shutting the doorway. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna exhale and pull it in towards your chest with your toe flexed up. And then you bring it back and you bring it forward. Back and forward. And the goal is to eventually be able to hover both knees off and then reciprocal crawl with a stable pelvis. So you have to be able to do the band exercise before you can do a reciprocal crawl, but great exercises for your core.